Let's talk about what you're doing now. I keep teasing it, but it's, it is interesting. You are, uh, up until recently, somebody who was against the legalization of marijuana. You just announced this week that you're joining the advisory board of a company called Acreage Holdings, which operates and, and, and distributes marijuana. How, why did you change your mind? You know, I found myself, uh, like a lot of Americans over the last 10 years or so, uh, beginning to look at this issue a little differently. And, um, and when I began to sit down with Kevin Murphy, or the founder of uh, Acreage Holdings, uh, I began to learn more. And then I began to have conversations with my friends and, uh, and I found myself in a position where I thought, you know, I could lend my voice uh, to this discussion. Uh, about uh, the medical use of, mar of marijuana. You once said you were unalterably opposed to legal marijuana. I know you've talked about the medicinal benefits and that's really what's driving this, but just to be clear, are, are you supporting the legalization of recreational marijuana in all 50 states? Uh, in the United States, each of the states has a right to make that decision. Of course, but and, do you support that? Is that what you're advocating for? I'm not advocating for that at all. My position is the states ought to decide. Uh, but there's a big conflict between what the 29 states uh, have done that have legalized some form of, of cannabis use and federal law. Federal government describes this as a Schedule I narcotic. That means no federally funded university, and almost every university that takes federal funds, can do research. Uh, it also means uh, that you really can't bank with regular banks yeah. as a result. 